Ballin' with. With podcast guys, we are here with my boy John back at it again with another recap for the NFL Week Four Quattro. We are back, and we're gonna do a Week Five Cinco uh, review as well, guys. That's all I know. I'm asking yeah. y'all. Welcome, John. Yeah, it's good to be here. I'm enjoying the podcast, enjoying these weekly little videos. Yes, sir. Starting like to get, get, get in our groove. You know, we can jump right into, you know, week five, week four headlines, week, week four, five headlines, whichever one you want to call it. What, what you got? Uh, what you got for interesting. Us? I don't know. I guess this, the viewers will see this based off the content we released. I've been talking about this man uh-huh. since we started this podcast. Urban about? Meyer, once again, <laughs> making headlines. You know what's funny? I didn't even watch the video. For real? I didn't, I didn't watch the video. I don't know if you saw it. I seen it like yesterday, I, bro. <laughs> I watched first take, Stephen A's oh. animation. Like, he was talking about it on first take, and he was just oh. like, you had, first of all, what NFL coach doesn't fly back with their team? Like, that's not heard of. This man didn't fly back with his team after a <laughs> Thursday night loss. Oh, yeah. four. Yeah. To the Bengals. Yeah. Matter of fact, they've lost 18 straight games since the beginning of last season. And instead of flying back with the Ooh. team, That's he nice. gets on a he stays in Cincinnati, goes to his <laughs> his his establishment, and has some girl dancing near him or whatever. Yeah. What do you what do you feel about that? Bro, I seen the video and just that whole circumstance of what you just made it build up to, like it didn't sound way worse. But Besides all that, he has a wife at home, and I don't, you didn't see the video, so you can't really tell what happened, but uh, he was at the bar sitting down, like, literally, like, this, this, really, like, just not saying anything while the girl, like, dances on his leg. Like, she's literally in his lap, and, you know, <clears throat> of course, headlines, uh, I don't think he should resign either, you know, just a... Another mistake, he's not with um, NCAA. I don't know if he flew back with all his teams after all his games either, but, you know, it's in the NFL. They're a lot more strict, and there's no time for no funny business, like how the NBA was last season on players with uh, going out to the clubs and, you know, during the the, um, the COVID season and stuff. Um, right. They got a lot of penalties for that, so I'm, I'm assuming he should get a penalty and go from there but he definitely learned his lesson um it's too early for that i, I couldn't even i could see if it was after a win he didn't even win right. the game bro like they lost so they just taking l's um urban meyer trey lance they i didn't even really like the couple together i mean he's the california kid from the, the the guy that's really wild right now i don't know he, he's a little iffy to me right now yeah i don't know man i don't know but uh uh, what I was going to say is, uh-huh. did you hear his, just quickly try and get off this topic, but uh, well, he had an excuse in his press conference and he had said something about like, I stayed back to see my grandkids and we were at a restaurant and then um, people asked me to get on the dance floor or whatever, whatever, whatever. Everyone said that that um, excuse was pretty BS, oh, sounded yeah. pretty bad. And then today, apparently he got interviewed and people were questioning him like, how did your wife feel? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, everything's yeah, fine. Cool. Everything's <laughs> fine. So, hey, Urban Meyer might be that, that guy. He might be able to do whatever he wants. Yeah. And not right now <laughs> while you're uh, on a losing team. Your job is going to cost that right there, in and out, honestly. So, um, yeah, I feel like those are excuses. He messed up. He should learn from it. And if he bounced back with a dub, but if you can't keep losing games, you can't do that. So, that's just, you got to change that up. Big facts. But uh, I wanted to also talk about, um, well, what, what was a bigger headline this weekend, did you think? You thought about Tom Brady versus Bill Belichick and the, and, and the uh, Bucks uh-huh. and uh, Patriots? Or were you more interested in seeing that uh, Arizona versus the Rams in the battle of the undefeateds or I would say, know, um... the Panthers and Cowboys? I think it was those three matchups to me, those uh-huh. three different things. You know, you can comment on all three of them. To be honest, I think they were all interesting. Oh yeah, they were. Um, definitely seen them in your uh, notes and stuff. Uh, definitely think Arizona and the Rams game was definitely uh, more just because it was a midday game. Everyone, we already knew what we were gonna get from Tom Brady later on in the night. I didn't think right, it was gonna right. be that close of a game for them, but I think everyone, for me personally, I wanted to see that that live game, like thirty to thirty score type of thing. 
Um, that Arizona and Rams game is definitely close. That whole division is close. Um, Seahawks was able to cap off the uh, 49ers. So, and then they now the I think they vice versa each other this week. So, I think that's something to look forward to as well. Tom Brady, man, that man is the GOAT for real. Like, legit, certified. <clears throat> he's definitely in the Hall of Fame, best quarterback ever. Probably will be the oldest quarterback to ever play as well. He said he could play a 50. We'll see, but um, I definitely, that was, you know, he had to scratch that off the bucket list to be his former team and to even do it. It's full circle, honestly. Like, it's honestly full circle. You you started with the Patriots. You, in your career, break the record for most passing yards ever by a quarterback versus your old team. That just says it all. That's just a sports moment right there that just was too, like, too good to miss up. So, um, that itself, we knew that was going to come. Um, and then, you know, Cowboys and Panthers, bro. Um, they've been – that was a good game. I do give credit to Cowboys. That is a you no know, team I got on my list of – Watch out for it, you know. Um, Panthers, though, they were striking. Their defense is stout. And um, I'll let you talk about, I don't know if you want to talk about that Gilmore trade that they just got. That defense look a little bit look a little bit hefty over there now. Yeah, I was going to say um, that that is a good segue into the uh, Stephon Gilmore trade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as we see, you know, the Patriots, I don't know why, but they released him. I guess – they had contract negotiations and it didn't really go down. He was trying to get paid like a top corner. Yeah. Honestly, I think he should get paid that way. He was just 2019 Defensive Player of the Year. First cornerback to win it since Charles Woodson. Yeah. It's only been like three or four corners to win that award since like the early 90s. Yeah. Uh, since Dion, Charles Woodson and him. So he's in good company. Um, I was hoping Washington could pick it up, but uh, Panthers too. hopped <laughs> in and got it. But yeah. what I think about the Panthers and Cowboys game cornerback scared me because I, I wanted to see the Panthers win. But uh, Trayvon Diggs, that defense yeah. looks great. He had two picks. I think he started out the season five interceptions in four, four games. games that, you know, that's the PG guy. We got to shout him out, even yeah, though he's on the Cowboys. Shout out Trayvon. Yeah, and, yeah we got to shout out Trayvon. And, uh, you know, showing, repping for the DMV. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I think I think uh, your takes on the rest of those topics, Tom Brady versus Bill. Tom Brady, obviously, is the GOAT. Um but I do think the Patriots played a lot better than everyone expected, or oh, yeah. the Buccaneers played first, which everyone you uh, thought, no one thought that yeah. it was going to be that close of a game. Most people were saying it was going to be a blowout. So I got to tip my hat to the Bucks. I, I mean, not the Bucks, but the Patriots. And then yeah. Yeah. Um, Arizona versus the Rams, that was definitely a great matchup. But I think now people know that Arizona is actually kind of for real. Like, now we can yeah. stop asking that question. You know, they played it. Tough opponent. Everyone thought the Rams was the best team in the yeah. league after just beating the Bucks the week before, oh, and now yeah. you see the Cardinals are the only undefeated team left in the NFL. So I thought that was cool. That is nice. Um, like you said, that that division as well. Um, definitely have a be a tough task. I, uh, are the Cardinals playing? I believe the 49ers this week. Um, I want to hop into Trey Lance, hopping into the starting quarterback position. I think I don't know if Jimmy Garoppolo is uh not playing, but. Um, I did pick up Trey Lance on the fantasy. I got. I think he was uh, moving the ball a little bit better. He they had a couple fourth downs in that game uh, last week uh, versus the Seahawks, I believe. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> I think when it comes down to it, they was utilizing Trey Lance like RD three, bro. Uh, with Kyle Shanahan, RD three, how they was on the Washington, they doing the same formations and stuff like that. How they with Trey Lance, so I'm definitely rooting for the kid. Yeah, Trey Lance, I think he has a bright future. Um, unfortunately, everyone knows Jimmy G's had really bad history injury. Yeah. Like, I think the last four years, and, and every game, every season he started at the beginning of the season, he's been injured at least three or four games. Oh, yeah. That's troublesome. They got to make the op- offense complete for Trey Lance this week. Yeah. Um, and I think he has a good opportunity to do well. I thought the 49ers would be better than what they are now. Um, but, you know, they're actually the worst team in their division, I think, right now, between them and the mm-hmm. Seahawks. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. And I think we can talk about another rookie quarterback that's about to start on um, Sunday again, Justin Fields. Yeah, uh, I think he did pretty well, got the win, got a win, yeah. his first win last week after the bounce back in a week, what was it, week three? Yep. Nice so we'll see what he has to do. We'll see what he has to do up up this upcoming week. Yeah. It's exciting to see these rookies starting to do a little bit better because I think they had a rocky start to start this season. Yeah, Matt Jones been pretty good. Uh, besides um, Zach Wilson, I feel like 
Trey Lance. Both of them need to step it up. Looks like Justin Fields and um, Trey Lance would definitely be the ones, and Matt Jones probably competing for that rookie of the year spot. Um, yeah. Offensive rookie. We'll see. Um, any other surprises for you this season? I mean, last this week was I feel like Titans. They blew a tire versus the Jets. Zach Wilson was able to pull that first dub off for them. Um, Titans have been in close games all season. I just want to say that. 